Yeah, I'm gone, dude. What is up? Fancy fishing, Andrew, JSK Outdoors. Greg, what is up? Andrew, what's up, dude? What's going on, fellas? See you in the house. What's up, dude? Sergio. It's frozen. Hold on. All right, we're on Wi-Fi now. Hopefully we're good. Let me know if we're good. I'm scrolling up. We good? Sorry about that. Didn't know Wi-Fi was off. I guess I was on the line the other day when I uh, had my remote going. I have to turn Wi-Fi off on my phone or try to pick it up on my phone. So, anyways, I forgot. We all good. Greg, what's up? Brian, what's up, dude? Paul, hello. Just wanted your thoughts on the new Slunker Hunt Spider. Um, I don't know. It looks cool. I know Mad Matt was using it. I think his fell apart like right away. I mean, they look good. Eventually, I'm sure I'll pick one up, but I really don't know about that. What's going on, Mike? Broke broke it in a new oh the new Dive Swim Bait Rod. Very cool. Which one did you get, man? What's going on, Steven? Sean Murphy in the house. It's good. We're good. You bought a shark. Fantastic. Jake, what's up? Andrew, best fishing tackle bag. I've used a few from Akuma that I really like. I mean, the tackle warehouse ones are really good. You guys know I'm digging the one from PC Fun. I mean, there's a bunch of ones out there. But for the price, I mean, the PC Fun one is really nice. I do have one right here from Ego Fishing. They sent me that one to check out. So um, we'll be looking at that one down the road as well. But, um, I mean, there's a ton of different options out there. But as of right now, the ones that I've used, I mean, the Akuma ones are great. And I love the PC Fun one. Let's see here. Crazy flapper. You probably can't see him, but I do. Why are we frozen? I don't know what's going on. Are we froze again? I was just froze on my end. Lewis, say good evening from Florida. I'm a newbie and love your channel. Appreciate you watching, buddy. Sergio, that's what we were saying. Kai Tech Crazy Flapper, I do. I haven't used them yet, but I did pick some up on one of my last Tackle Warehouse orders. So I will be trying those out here really soon. JSK loves the biospawn baits. Very cool. Guys, we got 50 people on. 10 thumbs up. Let's smash that thumbs up real fast if you don't mind. Can you show the grease that you use? Oh, for the reels? One second. One second, fellas. All right. My, one of my favorite grease is the Quantum Hot Sauce Grease. It's not actual hot sauce. Some guys think when I say I use hot sauce, like for oil, they think like I'm using like hot sauce for tacos. It's not. It's actually hot sauce, oil, and grease from Quantum. I like the Daiwa grease, and I also use the Ardent grease once in a while as well. So that is that. Uh, what kind of sunglasses should you buy? I mean, whatever ones you can afford. I mean, uh, I use Wiley X. I use the, um, I think the Boss Frames are around 160 or so. I've used those. Oakley's I really wasn't a huge fan of. I had more issues with the Oakley's than what it was worth. And um, Solar Bat was good, but they discontinued the one pair that fit me, so I stopped using those. Mr. YouTube, appreciate it, bud. Your son puts in work on them trucks. Yeah, he does, dude. I started him out young, man. He's, uh, what is he, 12? I started when I was 13. So I figured, you know what, my dad and my uncle are getting pretty old. I'm going to need some help here pretty soon. So, yeah, I got him working. Now, my youngest is, um, he's nine. So in a few more years, I'll get him out there as well. We're back. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with that. So, it froze earlier, and then uh, it froze on me here a second ago. So, but I'm on Wi-Fi. Keep me updated. I'm not sure what's going on. Sergio, I also learned that our weights with rattles, you don't have to keep losing rattles. 
when you put in the lure. I have to learn there are weights. Okay, I use uh, two weights that have rattles in them. Pablo, what's up? Aaron West, what's going on, brother? Appreciate 20 bucks, man. You're interested in the giveaway. Just go over it real fast. We do have an Ike's Headbanger Jig for the giveaway. Two packs of the XO Sticks. We got uh, the XO Swim 4.75. We got some Big Bite Baits Swim Baits. We got the Producto Swim Bait. And we got the Swim Bait from Excite Baits. So pretty good giveaway for you guys. If you donate, you're entered in that giveaway. Thanks again, Aaron. Andrew, building a new rod? That's cool, dude. What kind of rod? What's going on, Victor? So you got an eight foot extra heavy. That's a beast of a rod, man. That should do it. No problem, Jacob. Tell the family I said hi. You should come to New York and fish. I really should fish anywhere other than Illinois because Illinois, Illinois sucks. Michael Green, what's up, brother? What kind of reel would you have paired up with it? Um, you talking to me or are we talking to Mike? Backyard Bassin in the house. Don't forget tomorrow night, his channel, 7 o'clock. I believe he'll be live with, uh, who's it, 10 Horse Monty. So check those dudes out tomorrow night. Uh, what did you, what did the fish say when it hit the wall? Mm, no clue, man. Michael Green, appreciate five bucks, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway. Greg Thomas, appreciate five bucks, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway as well. You guys are awesome. Let's see here. Went through my whole pack of new Biospawn XO ribbons today. Black and red. Don't remember the name. Wish I had more. You're talking about Red Shad. Which I do believe I did ask somebody, but if you look at uh, here's a red shad from the Exo stick. If you look at the new red shad from the Exo ribbon, to me it looks more orangish than red. So they may have changed that color. I'm going to have to ask them, but I definitely like the new red. If it is a new color, I definitely like that new shad, a new red shad color better than the old one. I mean, either one's going to work, but um, definitely loving the Exo ribbon. I caught a bunch of fish on them, but you guys will be seeing that video on. Tuesday, we'll have a rigging video for you guys on Thursday, but it is an awesome little worm. Super thin tail, so not much movement at all. It gets that tail rolling, so really, really cool bait. Ronnie in the house. What's going on, dude? Appreciate you checking in, man. Hope you had a good time with old Mike Watts. Any interest in collaborating with other YouTubers? I'd love to, man. I get asked, I ain't saying pretty often, but once in a while, and um, I just really can't travel with my work schedule, but... Um, I did make a clip for Bass Geek's channel. Oh, Hank, if you haven't checked his channel out, definitely check him out. But me, him, and Debo are going to kind of work together. So we're each going to make clips for each other's channel, and I'll put a video together. So that's how we're going to work with each other, just because we're too far to travel. So we'll see what happens, though. Awesome weekend on the water. No fishing. I mean, Mike would have got skunked anyways, you know. What's going on, Sean? Jacob, what's up, dude? What happened to that video you posted today? Tried to open on Facebook and it was a no-go. If you guys are talking about my recent video or my last video, some clown put a um, copyright restriction on that video, which has been a big mess. YouTube took the video down. We had to take copyright classes and it wasn't, it's not even a copyright. I can't get into the issue with it because I don't get myself in trouble. But there's a company, I guess that's upset with the company that I was promoting in that video. So they, they're taking it out on my videos. So I'm not in the wrong at all. Again, I'm not sure if I should be discussing anything at all. So hopefully my video is back up soon because, again, I'm not in the wrong. But, yeah, the video was taken down. So kind of stupid, but it is what it is. Uh, Melvin, appreciate it, buddy. Glad you're joining the videos. Mike? I need to get on that video, dude. Um, I need to do it soon, probably. And actually, I talked to my wife about it. We thought it'd be cool to do it in the fall, you know, back in the field with all the leaves on the ground and stuff. So that's kind of what we're waiting on. But um, don't worry, dude. I will get to it. I'm glad you're looking forward to it. And guys, don't forget to check out my guys over there. Oliver C. Joseph, right there, ocjdeals.com. Link down in the description. If you guys are local, definitely check them out. They do ship, of course. And if you guys are local, it'd be awesome if you guys would swing by there like your oil changes and things like that definitely a good group of guys over there 
at Oliver T. Joseph. Uh, Jacob, yeah, I don't think we're that close, buddy. We'd have to do something similar, but you need to get your channel going first, man. I caught a big catfish on a Strike King buzz bait. Really, on top water? I catch a bunch of cat things, a bunch, but I've caught catfish on spinner baits. I catch them on tubes, but I've never caught a catfish on top water. That is pretty cool. Yeah, Greg, it's pretty stupid, dude. Like I said, I'm not sure why they're attacking me. It's not my product, so, I mean, there's no copyright issue at all with me. But again, they're taking it out on me just because they're not happy with that company. So, kind of stupid. Uh, no, I've never fished Ozarks or Table Rock. I've been on Table Rock a few times, um, boating and like jet skis and things like that. But I've never fished it. Let's see here, oh Rangers three seven four. What's up, brother? What's going on, Tim? What's up, Jim? Had a great time at the benefit tournament today. How'd you do, man? Glad to see you tuned in here. Mike, you got a new subscriber. Mad Matt, what's up, dude? What's going on, brother? Appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're rented in the giveaway. Michael Green, dude, new battle box is working out perfect, dude. I love it. Like I said, I put a lot of thought into building that box. I got it just how I want it. And like I said, it's perfect. So very, very happy with that. Let's see here. Matt, again, appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're rented in the giveaway. Doug, appreciate five bucks, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. I don't know if you have an answer to this already. What size and style hook you use on the XO ribbon? I've been using, I got a video coming out um, Tuesday and Thursday, one rigging video, one fishing video. And I was using a three aught. It's a mustad grip pin, round bent offset, but it's got a little bit longer shank to it. But three aught works perfect on it. Again, it's got killer action, that real thin tail. I mean, it doesn't take much movement at all to get that tail kicking. I mean, it really is a nice worm. Definitely digging it. I'm actually giving away what I have left here in Tuesday's video. I wanted to give away new packs, which I go over this in the video, but this is all I have. I ordered a bunch of them. They're not here yet. So like I said, you guys will see that giveaway in uh, Tuesday's video. Rumble FTW, what's up, dude? Jacob, well, I have to take all my videos down when I get my degree to start making my stuff was breaking down my reels. Okay. Oh, when you get your grease, I got you. Colt, appreciate the buck, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. Go over it real fast one more time. Two packs of XO sticks. Miles spawn. We got the Ice Headbanger. We got some XO Swims, 4.75. We got some Big Bite Baits, Swim Baits. We got some Swim Baits from Producto. And we got some Swim Baits from Excite Baits. The Shad Nasty. So pretty good giveaway for you guys tonight. I'll be at Lake of the Ozarks next month. They got a tournament, Greg? I got you, Jacob. Can you be my sponsor? Uh, I want it using your Bay Cavity 1.5 Gizzard Shed. There you go, dude. Awesome, man. Congrats on the win. That's awesome. Hopefully, you were able to use some of those hooks on that 1.5. Like it better than the Magic Box. I'm guessing that's cool. Seen one at a local tackle store. Guess I need to buy it. The Magic Box. Oh, you mean the Mafia Box? Yeah, for sure, dude. I mean, the Mafia Box, I mean, I think put it this way. Each box has their, like, we'll just call it specialty or whatever. But uh, if you're wanting, like, a variety of stuff in there like I did, I mean, you guys seen all the stuff that I put in the Battle Box. I mean, it was really cool. It took some thought, a little bit of modification, but I got it the way I want it. But the Mafias are, are, are good as well. This really depends what you're wanting out of a box. So, again, I'm not down in any box. They all have a purpose. It just depends what your needs are. I got you, Michael. Uh, what's going on, Brian from Morris, Illinois? What's up? Jacob, should I break down? Should I break them down, clean them when I put them back together? Grease them? Uh, why don't you just watch my videos, Jacob? If you watch the three-part series that I put in that Real Cleaning video, You'll kind of see how I do it. Just kind of grease them as you're putting it back together. Jake, appreciate the buck, bud. You're entered in the giveaway. I just won my first bass tournament. Congrats. That's awesome. Classic tournament should be a good time with the Costa Series. There are oh, okay, same time. That's awesome. I like Mystery Tackle Box better. What are we talking about? Do we have a little debate in here on boxes? No, I don't fish for stripers. I've caught a few stripers, to be honest. I'm not sure if they're hybrids or they're like a real striper or whatever you call that. I don't really know anything about them. But my uncle 
had a pretty decent sized pond and he stocked largemouth and striper in there. I got some pictures on Facebook. They're pretty old and we were catching them on swim baits and rattle traps. Maybe they were, I don't know, four or five pounds, something like that. But they were fun though. Uh, the flat side of crankbait, I guess it's uh, it's got a tighter um, wobble to it. And I like those when the water's a little bit colder, late fall, real early spring. They're not as, um, I guess you'd call it invasive as a, as like a, your standard ones that have more of a, more of a hunting action, more side to side movement to them versus the flat side. The flat side again is more, is more, um, more tighter, but I do believe there's more vibration in those as well. So again, I think it's really good for, uh, for colder water and even muddy water as well. Killed some smallmouth in Kansas last weekend. Very cool. Ten Horse Monty. What's up, dude? What's up, TJ? Warming up for the live stream tomorrow with Greg by watching you. There you go, dude. Y'all try and get on tomorrow night and watch you guys. Ryan caught a bunch today. Flipping bushes with Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver on the Tokyo rig. You showed me black, blue, and dirty Sanchez color. Very cool, dude. Good colors, too, man. I like that dirty Sanchez color. Thoughts on the Rapala Brat. I like the Brat. I've thrown it a handful of times. Not enough to really give my opinion on it. But um, I wish it weighed a little more. I mean, it's small in size. I wish it was, it was a little bit heavier. But overall, it's pretty good squirrel so far. I have not caught a ton on them. But um, pretty good, though. Best bait for smallmouth. Um, I don't really fish for them. I would say a tube, just from what I've heard. But I'm not the really the guy you should be asking about smallmouth. I really have no idea. The spine rig. You know, I watch uh, Mike Iaconelli's YouTube channel, and he's always coming up with these off-the-wall rigs. That could be one of the ones that maybe he did here recently. It sounds familiar, but I couldn't tell you what it is, man. The brass been effective for you. That's cool. I don't know about that, Tyler, but I do appreciate you, appreciate you tuning in, man. Let's see here. Yeah, Jacob, dude, uh, don't hit me up right now, dude. I'll talk to you when I get off the stream. Sergio, I use floor for just about everything I do, but on my spinners and chatters, I use mono. What do you use on your spinners and chatter baits? Um, for those, it's usually fluorocarbon. But uh, it really depends on the rod. Years ago, when I was using faster action rods, stiffer rods, I wanted something that had some give. And since my rod was stiffer with that faster action, I used to use mono because it had more stretch, obviously. Now that I'm using softer action rods, I go with the fluorocarbon just because my rod has the give. T Green, love your, love your videos, man. I want your channel to blow up. Dude, I've been trying to. I've been at this for like eight years, dude. And um, I'm, I'm hoping to hit 50,000 this year. We'll see. But yeah, dude, I'd like it to blow up as well and get this to be a full-time deal. Okay, there you go. Saw the spine rig on Mike Iaconelli. Yeah, he's he's always coming up with uh, some off-the-wall off rigs, but you know they seem pretty cool. Uh, Leo, I did not change the hooks on the brat just yet. Triple H. It's funny. I mean, I get that so much, the Triple H. And I, I told my wife, it just actually, it was like a couple days ago. I said, you know what? Look up Triple H. Do I look like him? And she's like, not at all. I mean, there's times when he's got a shaved head and a beard. But other than that, we don't look like each other at all. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Matt, Matt says, Gobi Baits are killer too for Smalley. So Gobi Baits and Tubes. Any other suggestions from you guys? Ismail, what's up, dude? Blue line fishing will hopefully you get to my message I sent above. Be safe, bro. Yeah, if you guys sent me a message on Facebook and Instagram, I've already seen a few of them pop up. I'll get to those as soon as the stream is over. No problem, Jacob. Brass come stock, BMC, no need to swap. Yeah, it's solid hook. Did I use a Dio SV, uh, the Tatula? I've been using that for my chatterbaits. I think actually when I was talking about the... Um, Jack Camber in my last stream, I think I showed it in that video. Yeah, it's a good reel, though. I'm liking it. John, the problem, buddy. Appreciate you tuning in, man. Get back to work. Backyard bass and what's going to be your go-to bait this fall? Not the squirrel either. Most likely uh, swim bait. 
I picked up some of those, um, what are they called, Miyagi swimmers from Beast Coast. I'm play around with those here really soon. Um, obviously, the Exo swims. Uh, things like that. So I would imagine fall probably the swim baits is what I'm going to mess around with the most. Apollo released a bigger version of the BX Brad at iCast 2019. Not sure when they'll be a release. To, okay, okay. Very cool. I'm sure that'll weigh more as well. Yeah, the Brad, it's pretty, it's pretty small. It's cool they have a couple options though. I depend on what you're looking for as far as depth goes. But it would be nice to have a little bit bigger bait. Dennis, I've never used the Cast King stuff, buddy, so I can't say if you're looking for a similar price point, definitely check out the PC Fun gear. I've used that. I can say it's pretty good, but I have not used the Cast King. Jake, so what do you do when you are frogging in a lake with pike and keep breaking off? I use steel leaders for musky, but effect, but effect of the action on any tips. Uh, Jake, I couldn't tell you, buddy, because I've never uh, fished in a lake that had pike. I'm sure some of these guys have. If you guys can help out Jake, that would be awesome. But um, I haven't had to deal with that, buddy, so I couldn't tell you. Sergio, I use a 7.7 medium heavy rod on my spinners and a 7 foot medium heavy on my chatters. Thank you, TJ. No problem, buddy. Yeah, let's look at the action of the rod. If they're more of a faster action rod, then go with uh, a line that's got some stretch to it. Again, just vice versa. If your rod is soft, go with line that doesn't have stretch to it, or not as much, which would be your floor carbon. No problem, buddy, though. All right, Jake, if you become full-time, won't have to get, if you become full-time, won't have to get something, we'll have to get a YouTube day. Okay, you mean get something lined up for a collab? We'll see, dude. I'm sure I'll be traveling if I ever do get this to be a full-time gig. December on the Magbrats, that's cool. Steven, can you give a shout out to my girlfriend, Jaden? She said she'll go fishing with me tomorrow if you do. Jaden, you better get your rod and reel. Go catch some fish. Hopefully I said your name correct. Let's see. I got to go to school tomorrow. That does suck. I'm going fishing tomorrow. Do I ever go live on the water? I haven't yet. I'm not sure how my signal would be either. Half the time I can't post pictures while I'm out there on the water. So I'm not really for sure how the quality would be. I know when I caught my seven pounder um, at the park lake, that was a couple years ago, I went live on the release. And it's, it's why, too, if you notice in my intro, when I'm holding up that big fish, it's kind of um, like fuzzy. That's because I didn't have great signal, you know, 10 minutes from the house. So most likely if I go to the lakes I normally go to, signal would be terrible. And I probably, uh, yeah, probably won't go live on the water. So what's with that bag behind you? Oh, this one here. Uh, that is from Ego Fishing. Um, I got that from them. I got a cooler that I'm going to play around with as well. But Ego, that's the nets that I use. And uh, we got to talk and they seen that I was promoting the nets and all that. So they sent me a couple products to try out. I have not uh, tried out the bag yet. It's sitting there on the table. But I got that and a cooler from them I'm going to play around with. And we'll do a video on them probably next year. But, um, yeah, it's just a tackle bag from Ego. Let's see, who's better, KVD or Iconelli? Have you tried Pavilion? No, I've not tried that. I don't even know what it is. And KVD or Iconelli? Um, I'm going to go KVD. Let's see, old Greg says, smallmouth, weightless fluke, and watermelon red flake. Sexy. Dog Jr. and Go Sexy Shed, if they are deep, a drop shot, or a Texas rig, Beaver is hard to beat. KVD is best all time. Mike always steps up, steps it up at big events. Aaron Wetzel, 30th September 2019. TJ Backyard, myself, and Wadi Fishing, I think, will be going to battle at a local lake near you. It'll be a long time coming. It's been a, yeah, dude, it's been a long time coming for sure. We need to get teams, dude. I know Mike, he fished with um, Aaron last time, so, or uh, Mike fished with Greg last time, so let's see what teams are going to be this time. I'm not sure I want to get stuck with Mike. I know that. I fished with that fool enough. Maybe we'll flip a coin or do something like that, get some teams together, and uh, loser buys lunch, man. Berkeley releasing a 105 size in the Chapo. That's cool. I haven't tried that one yet. 
All right, for the pike issue here, Team Jesus Outdoor says you can buy leader material that you that you can tie to your frog. Cool. Got to go see you next week. All right, fancy fishing. Appreciate it, bud. Mike says small mouth candy th custom jerk bait small mouth cannot resist. Come to Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'll fish with you, dude. I like to come anywhere that's not Illinois. <laughs> What's up? Glad to be here. What's going on, Mark? Appreciate you tuning in, man. No, I've not got the new mic yet, buddy. Don't worry, I'll get it here real soon. I guess I didn't rush out and buy it yet just because my wife is back in school, but I'll be getting that really soon. Hopefully they run a sale here, you know, with the holidays coming up. Broke my Daiwa Tattoo rod today. That ain't cool, dude. I'm sure it's got some type of warranty on it, though, don't it? Definitely want to see you and Debo. You'll let us know when that comes out with Bass Geek 2. Yeah, I do believe uh, Bass Geek Hank, I, I believe his video will be out uh, this month, probably towards the end of the month. Like I said, he already has my clip for that video. So he just needs to make his part, and Debo needs to make his part for it. And then that'll be the first video of us three on somebody's channel. And uh, myself and Debo need to come up with a topic as well for all of us to collab on. So as of right now, Hank will have the first video on his channel. Like I said, probably end of this month. Would you ever be down to have a fan subscriber come fish with you? Oh, sure, dude. That'd be fun, yeah. I think the problem is, though, my lakes that I fish, I mean, I mean they're terrible, dude. I'll fish all day for five bites. Uh, they're just not that great of lakes. So I would hate for somebody to travel a distance to fish the lakes that I fish. That's really why I don't really advertise doing that. That's why I don't do that because, again, I don't have a ton of time. I go where I can, and the lakes are just, they're just not great. All right, Mark, I just want to say I have used several types of fishing gloves. Just purchased a pair from Fish Monkey, and they are best fit. I have found so far. Thanks for the recommendation. No problem, dude. Yeah, I got my Fish Monkeys right here on the table, man. Yeah, they're awesome, dude. Before them, uh, the only ones that I used were Sims, but the Sims tore up pretty easy. But all the different padding that these have and all that, I mean, these hold up really well. I mean, they got some killer colors, too. And you guys can use my code, TJ81, to save 20% at fishmonkeygloves.com as well. But I'm glad you're digging them, man. Yeah, I love them. All right, Matt uses titanium leaders when I know pike are around their, legit, or their light, and I haven't noticed them affecting the action of my lure. Cool. Mike Gear, what's up, dude? Uh, who what YouTuber has the biggest belly? Gene. <laughs> Poor Gene. He's been trying to get rid of that belly for a while now. I know him and, um, him and Chad, and I asked Chad about it not too long ago. Him and Chad were supposed to do some, like, boxing match, and they were both dropping weight pretty fast, and I think, uh, something happened with Chad, not really for sure. Doctor's orders, he had to put things off or on hold for a while, so that boxing match never happened, so... I'm assuming those guys are maybe off their diet again. I'm not really sure. But uh, Gene's a good old boy, man. It's going to happen to all of us eventually, you know. We get older, metabolism slows down a little bit. We eat a little more. It was starting to happen to me. That's why now I'm at the gym two, three days a week. I'm trying to keep mine going. So let's see here. We have some good lakes here. Here's one of the good ones. Hey, what's up? We should go fishing sometime in the, in Illinois. I live in Joliet. Okay, cool. Andrew, hello, TJ, and everyone. Went fishing Friday morning for two, three hours. Caught six, seven large mouth using a swim jig. Hopefully, you are having a great weekend. Not bad, dude. I had to work yesterday all day. I think I went in around six. I got home like eight thirty um, that night, but I was off today. Spent some time with the wife, so that was pretty good. Thanks for asking, man. Glad you caught some fish. Is anyone watching the race tonight? No, they're watching TJ, man. Have no fear. Hank is here. What's going on, dude? Man, Hank, I want to watch that video you put out, too, on Time Flies. I've been wanting to uh, do something like that. I haven't had a chance to watch your video yet, but I'm going to check that out. What do you use when... What do you do when... With lures you don't use? I found... I. Guys selling lures for a dollar a piece. Yeah, once in a while I will sell them. I'll just get a bunch of stuff together that I don't use anymore, or find a new favorite, or whatever the case may be. 
I'll just sell them on Facebook or put a post on Instagram or something like that. So watching the race too. I'm lucky to catch one fish during a day of fishing. No kidding, Doug. I did have a pretty good day though. Uh, last week at the ponds, but you guys will see that on Tuesday. All right, Jake did try and use a little uh, clamp and it made a small loop and I couldn't get it to walk right, but I'll try not to tie it straight to the frog. Cool. I've tried the new Biospawn ribbon tail. My buddy had some and let me and let me try them. Dude, I love them, man. They're awesome. I'm digging them. It's like I got a bunch on order. They're not here yet. This is all I have left of the two packs that I had that I'm giving away to you guys on Tuesday and Tuesday's videos. So keep a lookout for that. But yeah, they got, they got killer action, man. Anyone just tuning in the giveaway tonight, two packs of XO sticks. We got the XO swim there, 4.75. We got the uh, swim baits from Big Bite Baits, swim baits from Producto, swim baits from Excite Baits, and we got an Ike's Headbanger Jig. So pretty good giveaway for you guys that do donate. I fished the Cali Delta yesterday, caught 45, including a four plus, a few threes, and a bunch of twos. Lost a handful. Most of them came on jerk bait, but also got them on spinner bait and square bell. Dude, 45 fish. I'm lucky to catch 45 fish in a month. That's awesome, dude. Thanks for watching. No problem, Hank. Guys, go check out Hank Snow. He's trying to grow his channel. I am listening. I got the race while watching TJ. The wife can't miss the race. TJ, what fish finder are you using on the tracker? Mine are pretty old, bud. Um, I got the Hummingbird 598, and then I have the 7, the 799? I don't even know. 598, and it could be the 799 up front. Both of them have side scan and down imaging and all that. But to be honest, man, I hardly even use them anymore. I fish the same lakes all the time. And I turn them on once in a while for water temperature and things like that. But other than that, I mean, I pretty much know what's going on in the lakes that I fish. They're muddy water. Fish aren't out deep schooling up. So, I mean, I don't have a whole lot of use for them at the moment. Ozuri or Rapala, which one do you prefer? I probably use Rapala more. Got some good honey holes in Dayton, Ohio. I'd love to fish with you. Like I said, guys, if I ever get full time, man, I'll be traveling. We'll do a little road trip. I'll hit a bunch of you guys on the way. Bears won today. I'm watching this and F on mute and SNL. Cool. What's your favorite soft body frog? That's easy. Rage Toad. That's been my favorite for years. Some of my very first fishing videos or on the rage toad. I mean, the, the foot is just pretty, it's pretty rough to watch, I'm sure. But uh, some of my first, like I said, fishing videos are the rage toad. Guys, we've got 83 people on here, 40 thumbs up. Can you guys bump that number up for me? That would be awesome. Going to chat uh, something, I was trying to say that, in New York this week for some smallmouth. Bronze bombers, very cool, dude. Catch them up, dude. No, I have fished any Great Lakes. I've only fished a handful of lakes here in Illinois and a few in Missouri. That is it. If I went full time, would you come to Florida? I'd like to, yeah. Like I said, I'd like to travel around. I mean, I got a bunch of friends, a bunch of YouTuber friends all around that I can make stops at and fish with you guys on the way. It would be pretty cool. So I'm sure sometime if I did make it full time, I would spend you know a few weeks on the road just traveling around. That would be very cool. BT, what's up, dude? Don't forget to share the live also. Yeah, guys, share it up, man. I've already sold. Stop this video. I can't do any more. I'm sorry. I've already sold. Already sold. Jacob, not sure what you mean, dude. Going to a Choby this weekend. That's cool, dude. Very cool. Make sure the bite's on there, man. Do you feel different between t-shirts made of 100% polyester versus a blend polyester with Spanish or elastic? For me, polyester with a blend is more breathable. For t-shirts, yeah, I like that. Um, I think they're called tri-blend. I like those the most. Like a full cotton or something like that. I mean, they shrink like instantly. Not a fan of those. They yeah, usually like a tri-blend t-shirt is what I wear the most. 
That's right, Jacob. Thumbs up for the video, man. Now we got 54. That's cool. 85 on. Picked up some of the Biospawn Exo Swim at 3.25 inch. Can't wait to try these on 3 8 ounce chair debate. Have one rigged up. Just need to tie it on. There you go, dude. Yeah, I, th I think I just ordered um, some of those on my last order. Haven't got those yet either. But that'll be my first time trying the, uh, the smaller one. No, I take that back. When they did come out, I did try the Fighter Shad and I think the, um, what's the other one called? What's the white one called? I forget now. Pearl Flash, maybe. But I did pick up the, um, I think it's Sungill is the one I just picked up. My last order. Mike, sorry, Jim. I'd like to see that bag behind you. There we go. I mean, it's got pockets all around it. Lots of storage in it. Comes with uh, four tackle boxes. So you can use the top all for your soft bait storage. Of course, your hard bait at the bottom there. But uh, yeah, we'll play around with that this winter, load it up, maybe use it next year. Right now, we're using the PC Fun bag, but that's just another one that uh, that's I'll check out once you guys know how it is. That's something I really tried to do this year. And I say that too, there's a little, little um, segment in my video coming out Tuesday. I really tried to use a variety of different brands for pretty much everything this year, from rods and reels, to bags, to coolers, to tackle. That way you guys just have more options depending what your budget is, just depending what you're looking for. So, mm -hmm. Sergio, well, if you start traveling, you said you'd fish with some of us. How would you pick? Who to fish with? Our fans from one day priority or day one priority. California has the biggest fish, <laughs> dude. I'll be heading for you to you for sure, man. You got the biggest fish. You're on the list for sure, man. Think you could try and take like a few weeks off work to do a small road trip? Uh, no way, dude. To be honest, if I'm not there, um, my dad would probably shut the business down. I mean, uh. It's just my dad and my uncle, um, and we got a lot of work to do. So, I mean, I really just cannot take off. I don't get sick days. If I'm sick, I go to work. Now we have my son, my youngest son. He's 13. He's working with us as well through the week. I pick him up after school. He's also working with us on the weekend once in a while, too, just to help us out. Again, we just really can't find any workers to help us out that really want to work. And like I said, my, uh, my dad and uncle, they can't do it by themselves, so I really have to be there. There's really nobody to replace me, so there's no way. Like I said, I can't even get a sick day, let alone take a few weeks off. That's why I can never go to ICAST. I can never go to the Classic. I always get invited, but again, I just I can never go. We'll see. I need a cheap frog rod. I bought a Berkeley Lightning 7 Heavy, but I can't cast a frog with it. Any ideas? Um, if you're looking for a frog rod, I tell you what, man, shop around. The TCS rods that I use... They're like 139, but I've seen guys get them or heard guys get them at Walmart, like online for like 90 something bucks. And uh, my frog rod is actually the jig worm rod in the TCS lineup. That's what it's labeled. It's the heavy with a moderate action to it. That's what I really what I like for uh, for frogs. But that would be around 100 bucks. I'm not really sure what the Berkeley rod costs, but um, you may want to check that one out. It's definitely worth 100 bucks for sure, man. I love it. Yeah, it is, it's a nice looking bag for sure. Like I said, I haven't played around with it. I'm happy with the PC Fun bag right now. That's what we're using the rest of the season. And then, like I said, come wintertime, I may load this one up and use that one next year just to give you guys more options. What brand jig do you prefer or what is your favorite? Never been much into jig fishing, but starting to get into it lately. I like the missile baits, Ike jigs. Um, probably my favorite jig is still going to be New Tech. A lot of you guys ask if I still use New Tech. I've been using them for years, but the reason you don't see a whole lot of talk about New Tech on this channel or really any jigs in general is just because I don't fish jigs that much. And, um, you know, we, where I fish a mud bottom majority of the time. So typically I'm not out there dragging things on the bottom, stirring up the mud and all that. So I don't, again, I don't fish jigs too often. But my favorite jig um, probably would be the New Tech, the new jigs. Um, the trash master, I'm loving that too, how you can make them weedless. I used to actually do that with like my football jigs. I would cut off the weed guard. I put a hitchhiker on the eye. I have an old video on this too. I put a hitchhiker on the eye and I would rig my 
my football jigs like that, the way my soft plastic was weedless, just like the Trash Master jig. So it's pretty cool that that bait comes like that stock. But um, I would say, yeah, between that one there and the New Tech jigs would be my, all my go-to jigs. Yep, that was pretty killer. Just got back from fishing and got skunked, dude. Not the W, man. That's not cool. Jacob, dude, you're on the list. Your whole family's on the list, man. I didn't hear who made that bag. Ego. If you guys seen my net review or the nets that I use on my boat, EGO. Ego nets. That's what I use. I did a review on those nets too. Which, Becca, if you're watching this, you can link that review in the comments. But same company uh, made the bag here as well. Ego. I so said they sent me a cooler as well. Um, I tell you what, the lure retriever that I did a video on the lure retriever, that's from them as well. EGO. Brian, what's your best color in Illinois? I'm in Northern Illinois, and black and blue is the best. I would have to agree, man. Black and blue, um, red shad, black neon, black, anything with black is, is pretty much the go-to color. I know how you feel. Can't find workers. Dude, nobody wants to work anymore, man. You know, and, and, and I've come across guys that, like, need a job. Like, they have no money. They got no food. They need to work, and they just won't work. <laughs> They hear the hours and they pass. Man, man, I'm stoked to try some Akuma stuff next season. Dude, you're going to dig it for sure, man. I tell you, you guys know I love the TCS rods. But the new SX reel paired up with the new SX rod, dude, it feels so good in hand. You guys will dig that one for sure. Biggest Florida fish, Cali fish, and our Florida fish, they get big in Cali due to deeper water and cold water temps. Okay. I'm going wherever the big fish are at, man. I see. I bet your subs could figure it out, and you'll get a sick day for a paper cut. No, nah, dude. I've gone to work with a cast on my arm, dude. Throwing up between trucks. I mean, it doesn't really matter what the illness is. Uh, if you got to work, you go to work. No sick days. So you're going, Josh. What's up, TJ81? I'm late. Was painting my kids' room. No problem, bud. Appreciate you tuning in, man. See, so Sean, do you ever throw underspins with the dirty water? I figured uh, will help you out. What's your go-to if so? Oh, yeah, I usually throw them, dude, in the fall and early spring. And I got a video, actually, I think, on my underspin box. Which, Becca, if you are watching this, you can find that video. Link that in here. But um, I just use the Picasso heads. Actually, I probably got some. Give me one second. I just use these right here, the Picasso Smart Mouth Plus Head. Again, I got a video on my whole setup for this. And then they sell the blade separate. So if I want the flash, I add the blade. If not, I just use the head and put a little Exo Swim or something like that on there. But yeah, I do throw them pretty often, like I said, in the fall and early spring. Jacob, all star rod, select 6'6 six, six, medium heavy, works pretty good with mono or fluoro, doesn't work. Very well with the light stuff, with the light braids like I like I do. But if you get some thicker stuff, it works pretty well. Cool. Appreciate the recommendation. No problems. Awesome, dude. Sean says, swim bait is working good on one of your mud pits right now. No kidding, dude. Okay, I may actually go there tomorrow. So that's good to hear. I know a buddy of mine went there over the weekend. If we're talking about the same mud pit. And he only caught two little fish in like four hours. So I haven't been to, if it's the mud pit I'm thinking of, I haven't been there in a few weeks. I've been going to the other mud pit, which is not as muddy. And uh, like I said, I may hit the, uh, the one that's closest to me tomorrow. But yeah, it's usually what I'm throwing, I think, by this time. Spinner baits and uh, swim baits, Kytex, things like that. Real nice bag. Yep, yeah, dude, I like it. XNGA, three bucks. Appreciate the donation, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. Thanks for all you do, dude. It's my pleasure, man. I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching the videos, sharing the videos. It's awesome. You guys are awesome. John G, in your opinion, best bait to try and find fish in New Lake where water clarity is less than a foot? Um, something you can cover water with. So it really depends on time of year and cover and things like that. But I mean, a square bill, spinner bait, chatter bait, just depends on conditions and all that uh, would be the way to go for me at least. 
probably, I mean, if there's rock or wood, if I'm going to a new body of water or just trying to find fish, it's going to be a square bill. Again, if the conditions are right, spinnerbait, or we're going to like the chatterbait. This is Mel. I use green pumpkin with red flake up here in Upper Illinois. I can't catch anything with black and blue. It's weird. I use stick baits and finesse baits 90% of the time. It's kind of funny, dude. What's the watercolor that up, up there? Like how much visibility you got? I mean, on the lake closest to me, I'm lucky. Sometimes I'm lucky if there's like three inches of visibility. Jake, you've got the W. The bass in our Michigan lakes are just beginning to transition to lakes summer to fall, and fishing has been tough. Uh, I'd say a couple weeks ago it wasn't great. Last week for me it was pretty decent. So I think it's starting to improve a little bit here. A lot of shad up shallow. Water temps are like 79, 80. Now this week, I think we have a week of like high 80s. But I think the following week, lows are in the 50s. Highs are in low 80s and, and high 70s. So I bet, I mean, sometimes in October, late October, it gets pretty cold here. So I'm guessing, I was actually just talking about this with my wife today. If I can get the boat out two or three more times a week till probably middle October, and by, probably be about it for at least a decent bite just because, like I said, it drops pretty fast or it gets pretty cold. So I would say I at least have another dozen to 15 good times out to try and catch some fish. Other than that, it'll be a, you know, hit and miss here and there whenever I get out, depending on the weather and all that. But I'd say at least in mid-October, we're good for a while. So at least another month or so. But it just depends on the weather. I mean, sometimes in October, it's still warm, but sometimes it's pretty cold. It's funny, too. I used to, you guys probably laugh at this. I used to really be into um, Insane Clown Posse. And I used to go to some of their concerts. And they're, they're ones that I used to go to were always on Halloween. And I just remember standing out there in a t-shirt. We'd always try and get in the pit. So I, we would never want to wear coats and clothes and all that. So we'd just be out there in a t-shirt, short sleeve t-shirt, just freezing our butts off out there all day, trying to make sure that we're up there in the pit. But that's why I always know that it was always cold in October just because that's when I was always at those concerts and it was freezing out there. Let's see here. That's what... The Dems want its a giveaway world. You don't have to work anymore. Free, free, free. But who pays? Junkie, me, and everyone else. Yeah, no kidding, dude. Okay, there's the underspin video I was talking about right there. One fish every two hours, and it ain't half bad. Not too bad, Jacob. Jay, appreciate two bucks, buddy. Rented in the giveaway. Hello from Arizona. What's going on? Sean, what's up, Junkie? Let's got home from north end of... Sea Lake, punching mats and frogging, caught some nice ones waiting for them. Green heads to start corralling bait. Top water will be on fire. Very cool, dude. Yeah, I need to get to that lake as well, man. He has never caught a fish or just one. Who are you talking about, Jacob? JWC, what's up? Tackle Junkie 81 is the go. Thanks, T Green. Appreciate it, buddy. Mostly muddy or stained water, but we do have some rare clear water uh, ones, but I fish on the muddy or stained water. So you're saying, would you say green pumpkin red does pretty good for you in the muddy water? I mean, they'll hit green pumpkin, no doubt. I get bit here on my muddy lakes in green pumpkin. And what I've noticed, though, when you get bit on green pumpkin in muddy water, dude, it's a color that almost blends into the water, but it's still, you got to think, it's still natural form just because there are things in the water that are that color. But when you get hit on green pumpkin, dude, it's a pretty aggressive strike just because that color, it really sneaks up on them. So if I know that I'm on fish, let's say I'm fishing some stumps, I know there's fish on the stumps. Sometimes that's when I break out the green pumpkin. I know they're there. I'm not trying to spook them with some big gaudy color. I'll just drag it real slow by that stump. If they're there, they're going to hit it. But again, it's really aggressive because that color just sneaks up on them. What's going on, Mark? Appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. We do have two packs of the Exo Sticks. We got the Exo Swim. We got some swim baits from Big Bite Baits, from Producto, from Excite Baits. And then we also have the Ice Headbanger Jig. So we need temps to drop about five to 10 degrees up here for sure. Phantom Fishing. Settle down, sunshine. You'll be catching them into. November. We'll see, dude. 
We'll see. Hope so. I look back at my videos. Hasn't been too often. We're catching pretty good in November. See what the weather does, though. That's what sucks about being up north. Short seasons. You guys start later, too, man. That does pretty suck pretty bad. Oh, Miss Tackle Junkie. Yeah, she's in here watching out for you guys. Yeah, dude, ICP, man. I used to go, dude, we used to paint our faces and everything, dude. It was fun. I bet you guys didn't peg me for that. I want a bait caster, but not sure which one to pick. It's a toss-up between the Quantum Accurist and the uh, Pro Max. I haven't used either one, buddy, so I couldn't tell you. I always recommend for a starter reel, you know, I always recommend Tattoo CT, Bath Pro, Pro Qualifier. I mean, those are two of my favorites. Did we ever pick a nickname for Miss TJ? Her name is um, Old Hook and Sinker. No, I haven't listened to ICP in a long time. It was years ago, back when I was in high school and everything like that. But, um... What's some frog tips? Um, don't get too excited. Set the hook right away. You know, give them a second. When they hit it, don't jerk right away. I mean, it's kind of like a like a reflex. As soon as you get hit to swing on them, but that's usually when you miss. So try and wait a second before you hit them. And I uh, I used to use like you know seven and a half foot rods. I used to use seven eleven. My go to frog rod now is a, a seven footer. It's a heavy, moderate action, like a softer tip, especially when I'm using braid. And a little more forgiving just because we're using braid has zero stretch to it. But I just have much more control with that seven footer versus a longer rod. Now, if you're in thick mats and all that, you're going to want the leverage of a longer rod. But just for where I'm fishing, the seven footer does really well. What's the best soft swim bait to throw? I mean, whatever one they're hitting, dude. You guys know I love the Axel Swims. I love the Kai Tex, uh, the Rhythm Waves. I just picked up some of the Miyagi's to try. I mean, there's so many swim baits out there. I mean, pick one and go fishing, dude. That's fantastic, Jacob. November, you're chasing muskies, dude. Dude, I would love to get on a big old musky bike. I know Backyard Bass, and I know he catches them at one of the lakes we're going to uh, in a couple weeks, so hopefully he can put me on some muskies, man. They are starting to eat cranks. Dude, they were eating them. Uh, what were they eating? I was at uh, the one lake last week. Um, it was mainly spinner baits. No, that was the day before. The day after where I was going to take you, it was crankbaits. Spinner baits the day before. I think it was crankbaits before that. So, dude, they're always eating the crankbaits. Now, they're not the size you're catching like the one you caught today. A big old fat face, thick back. TJ, you have the same weather as Michigan, hot or frozen. Pretty much, dude, yep. Or it's raining. Pro Max is okay, but it's kind of loose feeling. Pro Max. Don't you northern boys use dye up there if the water is muddy? Here I use spike it and dye. The tips are true. Blue, black, or up chubby craw here, or green pumpkin. Hey, Aaron. Hi, brother. Appreciate you tuning in, man. I'll see you in a couple weeks, dude. Mindless, what's up, dude? Jigs lately, but cranks are heating up. Dude, we need to go on your lake really soon, dude. Hit that three-pound point. Let's see here. Ismail says, the Garcia or SX, it's the best beginner reel. I still have mine running smoothly thanks to TJ's maintenance videos. Where'd I go? Videos. Sadly, I don't believe they make them anymore, but Amazon still sells them. Cool. Glad you guys like the real videos, the real cleaning videos. Let's see here. I lost one lost dude. Where are you from? Why are you not talking to me? Dial Fuego. I tell you what, I've been using the Fuego for spinnerbaits uh, last few times out. It's the last month or so, and I'm definitely digging it. I mean, if it's 100 bucks, if you're going to pay 100 bucks for it, I would step it up to the Tattoo CT. But if you can get a sale on it, I'd go with Fuego. No, I've never been ice fishing, dude. That's not really my thing. Oh, Phantom, I think he 
he wanted to take me a couple times, but that's not my thing, dude. Alex, appreciate the five bucks, buddy. You rented in the giveaway. Last month, I got my PB620, dude. That's awesome. Copper Lake, Maryland. Next day, lost a big one trying to lift. Watch your vid. Watch your vid. Ego again and order one. Oh, on the Ego Nets? Cool, dude. Yeah, dude. I love the Ego Nets, man. Which one did you get? They got a bunch of different options on there as far as handle length and uh, different netting material and all that. Yeah, you'll love that net, dude. Six pounder, though, man. That's awesome. Very cool, and I do appreciate the donation. You're interested in the giveaway. Ron says, pike and bass fishing is fun, but winter is coming soon. Winter sucks in northern Ontario. Dude, it just sucks. It sucks all over, dude. And I hate winter the most because, you know, uh, I work outside, and I work with water. So getting up 6 in the morning and washing trucks and having that cold water blow in your face, and you got all these these uh, icicles all over your beard, dude, It's it ain't no fun. Team G, sorry, dude. Appreciate you tuning in, man. Go catch the end of the race. Sensi, what's up going on, man? How you doing, bud? I'm not sure if uh, my son's playing the games or not right now. He was gone all day. Love the Delta. Okay. I got the one exactly I saw in your video, but I think it's a little too big for my kayak. Yeah, it could be. I think, um, I think what handle I have on there. Uh, could be three foot maybe, but the net is, um, it could be the 19 inch net. I don't even remember. I have to look at my own video to figure that out. But I think I've been using the, um, I do have the rubber, but I think, uh, I think it's not, what is it, nylon coated or is it, it's PVC coated, PVC coated. That one there is really nice in the water too, because it doesn't have much of drag to it. The rubber ones are really nice as well, just because the hooks don't get caught in it as easy. But that uh, the PVC coated ones, man, like I said, no drag at all. You can scoop up fish pretty easy with them. You're definitely going to dig it, dude. So I think on my review, I think I may have had both of them. I think I had the PVC coated one, and I think I had the rubber coated one in that video. What would we have to do for you to shave your beard? Um, I don't know, dude. I'm not shaving it though. <laughs> Can I see the new Biospawn? For sure. Here we go. I don't think it's going to show up too well in the video here, but if you look at like the original Red Shad from Biospawn, to me it looks a little more red. It kind of shows up a little bit. But um, the one that they're, maybe, I'm not sure if they switched the color or not. I'm going to have to ask them. But the red shad in the exo ribbon here, to me, it looks like it's got a little more orange tint to it. And I do like it better. So that is pretty cool there. But there is the exo ribbon, 7-inch, 10-inch coming soon. It's got a new super fine tail to it, man, real thin. The slightest of movements, and that tail is kicking. So very, very cool. Definitely check those out. And I will be giving some away to you guys in my Tuesday video. So definitely check that out. What is your favorite semi-truck since you wash a crap ton of trucks? My favorite semi-truck to wash? Uh, I tell you what, the worst one to wash is, um, we don't wash them anymore. We used to wash car haulers. Do We used to wash like 100 car haulers a week, dude. It was a, it was a lot of work. But um, those are definitely the worst to wash. Yeah, tractor trailers, the majority of what we wash are like FedEx trucks, like straight trucks, things like that. But we wash all the big rigs too. I need a smaller handle PVC coat. There you go, yeah. PVC coat are very cool. Yeah, I'm sure you would need a smaller handle for the, uh, the kayak. But you definitely picked a good uh, choice in the net material there. No problem to say. Never shave bearded brothers forever. Stick together. For sure, dude. Bald men don't shave their heads or shave their beards. I'm not bald, though. If I would grow my hair out, I have a full head of hair. A lot of guys think that I'm bald. I shave my head every day. Yeah, it's got more orange to it compared to the original. Like I said, this is definitely red, but uh, this one's definitely, for sure, I believe, orange. So I'm curious if they did switch up the color. If they did, like I said, it'd be cool to have that in the echo stick as well. 
I'm definitely digging that new color. I would say it's new just because to me it really does look different. 75,000 subs. So you're saying if I hit 75,000 subs, I tell you what, if I hit 75,000 subs this year, I'll shave the beard. I'm going to struggle to get 50,000, but if some miracle, miracle you guys can share the videos and I reach 75,000 subs this year, I'll shave it off. What's going on, Ryan? Appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. No, 100,000 subs to shave his beard. 75,000 subs by October to shave your beard. I, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. You guys can have till December 31st. I get 75,000 subs. Beard's coming off. What style of fish monkey gloves are good for cold weather? Where are they at? Um, oh, here we go. Hold on. I have a few different styles, but this one here is my favorite. If you're not worried about having the full fingers, these are called the, oh, what are they called? Stubbies? No. What are these called? The Wooly. These here will be my favorite for colder water. The Wooly. You guys pick them up at fishmonkeygloves.com. Again, save 20% using my code. But they do have other ones that um, have full fingers. They'll be tougher to fish in. You know, maybe if you're driving the boat or something like that. But they do make that same style, though, with the fingers cut off. Just depends what you're looking for. But, yeah, my favorite is going to be the Wooly. And I believe these are right around 20 bucks. I think. You boys are in a uh, world that me, I have no winter. It's summer here year-round, and I am not knocking 620 fish, but that's a baby here, I guess. I am spoiled being born here in South Florida. For sure, dude. For sure. I'd love to live down south and have summer, you know, or warm weather all year. That would be awesome. Wayne, appreciate it, buddy. Hope to see you next week, man. Let's raise money for charity and you shave your beard. <laughs> I wish I could help you wash trucks. That would be fun. Uh, it's not any fun at all, dude. For sure. It's not fun. It sucks. But it does pay the bills, man. I've been doing that since I was 13. I'm going to be 39. So, long time. My dad's had the business for right around, uh, right around 40 years. Just picked up... Oh, Greg, just picked up a new bait called a Fluke Glide by I'm a Bates. It's a swim bait that can act as a fluke as well. Sinking version in Ghost Gither Chat is going to be great to swallow. Very cool, dude. Someone write this down. It's official. Dude, I won't forget. If I get 75,000 subs by the end of the year, you won't have to tell me. I'll just shave it off and you'll see me beardless, dude. I won't forget, man. I'm going to every fishing channel I know to get subscribers for you. Do it, dude. Let's blow this channel up, man. I'll shave it off. I tell you what, I'll shave it off live, too. We'll do it live. 75,000, I'll shave it live. I've used a couple of the Livingston lures. Not many, though. I said it before. I love the fit and how tough the fish monkey gloves feel. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, there's not a better glove out there. I mean, I can't really say that... I've used them all. I mean, I've only used Sims and um, there's one other one. I can't think of the name of it. They didn't last very long. I think it's got two two letters in it or something like that. Anyways, they tore pretty fast. But the main ones that I used before these were the Sims. Sims that uh, I think they're right around maybe 30 bucks. Again, they tore pretty easy. But Fish Monkey, man, they got all the the padding in the right spots, all that material that, you know, that way they're not going to, you know, rip on you that fast. Just like on the thumb here. You can see the extra padding here. So instead of having this material there, they have this material. So again, you can go ahead and lift the bass and you're not going to snag your glove all the time. So as far as I'm concerned, man, I have no reason to look any further. Those are some awesome gloves. Have you ever watched something over a thousand feet? Why is it a movie? No, I've never seen it. It's so hot here in South Florida. <laughs> Real funny, Mark. Today wasn't too bad. Today was around 89, so not too hot, but I'll take it. I do miss the big bass in South Florida a bit. I do not miss the gators. 
Yeah, I would not be a fan of the Gators and the Snakes. Yeah, I, I'll pass on that. So maybe it ain't too bad here in Illinois. I wouldn't advise moving to Cali, but it goes, but it does have you, but it does have year-round fishing and several big fish lakes, plus a delta. I tell you what, talking about spiders, talking about uh, gators and snakes, did you guys see my Instagram picture the other day? Those spiders, dude, those spiders were like that big. They're like yellow and black. I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're venomous. I don't even care. They were too big to be fishing in that area, dude. They were, they were like that big. So what does Miss TJ81 think of this shaving deal? Babe, let's know what you think of me shaving my beard, 75,000 subs. Well, I am 63 and I have two years left to work. Then it's fishing and golf also. I have a beard and I won't shave it for nothing. That's awesome, dude. Two more years, man. Fish it up, brother. Yeah, I really doubt I'm going to hit uh, 75,000 subs. That's the only reason I'm agreeing to this, because I would never shave my beard. <laughs> I cut my PB of the off, cut my PB of the season on a Livesey lower. That's cool. Which one? What does your wife think of your beard? My girlfriend hates them. I guess she's lucky I can't grow one. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. We have some giant gators here in South Louisiana. Okay, the wife says, with his tan, he will still look like he has a beard. Just the tan line of one. <laughs> Real funny. Real funny. This beard has been on a long time. Yeah, I'm sure if I shaved it, it's going to be white. They were ore weavers. Yeah, dude, I don't know what they are, man, but they looked scary, dude. I wanted no part of those. Those are banana spiders. Haven't seen them in years. The one you saw was huge. Dude. I'm not sure if that was even the biggest one I took a picture of, dude. I'm not joking, dude. They were like that big, man. Do you wait a couple seconds when setting the hook on a frog, or do you swing once you see the blow up? I guess once I feel them. You know, if you as soon as you hear the blow up, if you swing on them, you're most likely going to pull away from them. But once you kind of feel the weight of them, then you'll set it. But you got to think, it's, it's really hard. Sometimes those blow ups almost spook you. And just how you react, you end up setting the hook too soon. It just really depends if you hook up, if you really, if they really got it good when they blew up on them. But typically, I try and wait till I feel the weight of the fish and then set the hook. But I mean, usually using braid, usually you're moving the frog, so your line is tight. So normally, if they hit it, obviously, they're going right down with it. The line's tight. If you just sweep away from them, normally, you hook them pretty easy. But yeah, the, the, the deal is, is not to set the hook too fast. But like I said, a lot of times, you just, it's just how you are. You just react that way, and you pull it from them, so. Thanks for the live stream. Good night to you and all the junkies. Rods up, tight lines. See you next week. All right, Greg. Appreciate you tuning in, buddy. Ismail, they could be harmless, dude, but, yeah, dude, I still, I would still burn them, dude. Gators don't bother you. That's BS. If you bother a gator and it has babies and you'll have you'll have a problem i'm not taking my chances dude do you tighten your drag down all the way when frog fishing i do yes if i'm using braid for sure man i know some guys i'll see some guys like wrench on it you know i mean i'll tighten it down you know pretty good i'm not actually cranking it you know as tight as it'll go but i got it pretty tight where it's gonna be hard to pull drag All right, Sensei, I appreciate you tuning in, man. If you're going to bed, dude, no late games. I agree with TJ. Wait to feel the fish before setting. I mean, that is the plan, but like I said, sometimes you just get you get spooked yourself from the blow-up, so you end up setting it too fast, but that would be the plan. You feel the fish, then set the hook. After a long day of frogging, any pop, I jerk my hands. Yeah. Yep. Do you think the lunker hunt got the idea for their spider baits from those big spiders you are talking about could be dude i mean they do look pretty similar i didn't check out those baits in, in real in depth and all but i do remember seeing a black and yellow one and it did look pretty similar to the one that was at these ponds and man it was a scary looking spider dude lock tackle you're late for beginners after you frog after your frog lands, treat it like 
a wife. Ignore it. Do you feel the weight of the fish? There you go. No problem, Brian. On frogs, usually the bass will set the hook itself for sure. Like I was saying, yeah, the line's pretty much tight. Uh, BT, okay, good night, Junkie. Thank you for your time. No problem, bud. Appreciate you tuning in, man. See you next week. Is a frog lure good with only lily pads, or is it also good with rip? Yeah, dude, I can, I've caught them on a frog and rip wrap, open water. I mean, if fish are in the area, in the hit top water, I mean, throw it, you know. You don't have to be around slop and lily pads to toss a frog. Again, you can throw them in open water, around rock, wood. You know, a lot of times, you know, guys cover water even like with buzz baits. It's trying to find fish. I'll do that with rage toads. So, you know, throwing a frog lure, fan cast until I find a fish. Now, you don't have to be around pads and mats and all that. What size hook on a fat Ica? I ain't throw, the, throw those in a while. I don't know, probably three or four out EWG. It's a pretty thick bait. I used to throw those all the time, but I haven't thrown those in a while. I would probably say probably four out EWG. Backyard bass, and what'd you miss, dude? We were talking all about you, man. Frog lures can work anywhere for sure. All right, Tom. Appreciate it, buddy. Can you use mono for frog fishing? I never fish a frog, but I want to. Uh, when I first started out, dude, 20-pound mono is what I used for frogs. It wasn't until, you know, so many years back that I started using braid. But for the longest time, for my rage toes and for my walking frogs and all that, I used 20-pound mono. No, I've never fished in New England. Yep, frog in open water for sure. We are caught up an hour and 12 minutes in. Very cool. While we're sitting here, go over the giveaway one more time. Two packs of XO sticks. We got some XO swims. We got the Big Bite Bait swim bait. Producto swim bait. Excite Bait swim bait. And then we got the Ike's Headbanger Jig. We'll make that the last time that we go over that. If you guys donated, that's what you're going to um, be entered for. Make sure you guys look back once the video is processed and see who won. I'll have it down there in the comments. I made a cat turd lure. It worked. That's cool. I love frog baits. Lost a few because of my son snagging them. But I just keep buying new ones. Yep, that's what you got to do, man. That's fishing, dude. A lure ain't going to last forever. And like I said, half the time, we lose them before we catch fish on them. Why the fishing? Now, he's probably uh, recovering from his, I think he had his, what, his bachelor party. So, he's probably sleeping, I'd imagine. All right, Doug, appreciate you tuning in, man. Yeah, we're going to be off here in a few. We're caught up in comments. We'll probably stay on another 10 minutes. I picked up some of the grip pin hooks you showed in your videos. I have tried them yet, but they look good. Yeah, dude, I mean, must that makes an awesome hook, and that grip pin really does hold the plastic up. So, Alex, we talked about favorite jigs earlier. Uh, the New Tech Lures New Jig or the Trash Master Jig would be my favorite, too. Do you have a P bottle out of frame? Out of frame. Where are we at? Tell me where. You ever throw red craw colors in the fall? All the time, dude. My six pounder that I caught, let's see here, that was, um, it was two days ago last year um, on, on the lake that you were at, that uh, that six pounder came on red craw. Yeah, I throw red craw pretty much all the time. Oh, right here? Yep. Yeah, I usually drink a lot of water. I mean, uh, oh, do I? I got what you're saying. I got what you're saying. No, I don't have a pee bottle in here for the drinking so much water. No, I don't. But yeah, dude, talking so much, man, it <clears throat> drives your throat out. Sorry, I missed when you said you would announce the winner of the giveaway. Uh, yeah, what I do is um, whoever donated, when the video is done, when I'm done here, once it's processed, I'll be able to see who donated. Then I'll pick a winner. I just use like a random number generator. I pick a winner. And then when the video is processed, when it's live again, 
I'll have the winner down in the comments. So what you have to do is just look back if you donated. And again, I'll have the winner there. You reply to me, I get your address, and I ship it out. What well, local shop has the Biospawn line? Uh, Cabela's uh, did carry them. I'm assuming they still do, but at one time they did. You use uh, Lure Sense. Oh, yeah, dude, I use a lot of scents. From one of these Bang, JJ's, Chompers, Gulp, uh, Mega Strike. Yeah, I use a ton of scent. Uh, KVD Fish Sticks. Sean, appreciate the five bucks, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. Why are my messages disappearing? Uh, I have no idea, bud. Anders, uh, handmade craft. What's up, bud? That was a winner from a giveaway here recently. The Gatorade man, not good for you. Too much. Stuff. Oh, I still drink a, a ton of Gatorade too, man. Well, guys, hour 16 minutes. We'll stay on until, uh, we'll stay on four more minutes. Stay on hour 20 minutes. We're caught up here. You guys going to be doing any fishing this week? I got two videos planned for you guys this week. Uh, one's a fishing video, one is a rigging video. They both have fish catches in them. So make sure you guys check those out. Let's see here. JJ is the bomb. Don't spill it on the... Yeah, no kidding, dude. Yeah, no kidding. What's your favorite spook? Do you change out the hooks? Uh, favorite spook? Probably... It's not a spook. My favorite walking bait is probably the... Mega Bass, I think it's called the Pop Max. It's a popper, but it walks really well as well. That's probably one of my favorites. And um, that probably still has stock hooks on it. Mega Bass come with pretty good hooks and um, probably still stock hooks on those. Hopefully doing some fishing this week or next weekend. Sean, I'm home tonight organizing tackle. And I have such a mess out right now. I can imagine, dude. I was going through boxes of tackle before I started the stream. Get Gatorade to sponsor you. I can't say I got a big old pike in northern Sweden. Uh -huh. That's the message. It was. It kept disappearing. I'm not sure why. I don't think my wife deleted nothing. I would have seen it on here. No, I've never poured my own plastics. I don't have time for that. It would be cool. I think it'd be fun to do that. But yeah, I don't have time to do that. Well, fishing for me, you need to finish servicing a boat for fall, winter, and spring fishing. I hooked a huge catfish, crappie fishing. Oh yeah, dude, that'd be fun. Yeah, I was with my boy and my youngest. He was only maybe four or five, maybe. And we were jigging a, a bush down like 16 foot of water and we were crappie fishing and he caught a six pound catfish, crappie fishing. So that was, that was a lot of fun for sure. He still talks about that catfish to this day. be at the spillway hunting snook now that the hurricane is gone and the water was calmed okay that's cool dude hope you catch it man luckily it broke the hook not the line greg i went fishing this morning and caught about 10 decent fatties you got hot quick that's cool did you make a video dude i got very organized my tackle and i started golf oh golf this week that's cool well, guys, I think we're going to call it a night. We're caught off again here. Tomorrow night, Backyard Bassin, 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. And uh, check him out. I'll get over there if I can. But uh, like I said, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Keep a lookout for two videos this week. Smash the thumbs up, as always, guys. And like I said, we will see you guys next Sunday. It's always a blast. Take care, guys. Good night.